Hello my dear students, welcome to Gate Academy Global. Today I am going to discuss the topic that is really important topic for all the branches excluding civil branch. Right, I am going to deal the complex integral part which is really very important and firstly I have some, uh, I will start uh, from the question. During the question we will have some the concept, uh, we will have the uh, basic steps and then we will deal with the question, right. So I am taking the question from gate examination and here I am having the question from gate examination from my booklet also. So I am having the question from my booklet and the question is from IIT Kanpur 2007. So it is asked for 2 mark. So 007 bond with the best. Let us start the question. I am having the integral i is equal to this is the complex integral dear students here I am having the curve C and dz divided by 1 plus z square right. So where C is the contour z here C is the contour and it is nothing but mod z minus i by 2 which is equal to 1. So we are having the options 2 pi i pi i 10 inverse z and varieties of options here. So let us start the question. So this is our question, I am having these steps. So first of all, you just note these steps. So what is the step number 1? The step number 1 is to identify the poles with the uh, first of all we just need to have we just need to have the formula or we just need to have the concept how to solve this integral right we do not need to solve this integral by having what we can say by having the normal integration like uh, 1 upon 1 plus x square is nothing but 10 inverse x so we are not doing this because we have the contour here so for the closed curve or contour we need to apply the residue theorem first or Cauchy residue theorem or Cauchy residue integral formula or Cauchy integral formula right. So what is the Cauchy's integral formula dear students if I am writing here Cauchy's integral formula then what is the Cauchy's integral formula you can write here it is nothing but the integration closed integral C uh, fz right fz divided by divided by I am having here z minus a dz which is equal to 2 pi i into f of a. The very important thing is what here the pole the pole that, that means what this is nothing but the denominator and by putting denominator is equal to 0 we are having the pole from the function right. So the pole should be inside or on the closed curve C inside or on I am taking inside or on not outside right. So first of all uh, before applying this we need to check the pole right we need to check the pole is which is inside or on or outside the curve correct. Now for inside or on for inside for inside or on the curve C we will have this kind of formula this is nothing but for the simple pole right for simple pole I am writing here this is for simple pole this is for simple pole see for multiple pole we are having the different uh, uh, formula right in the next question in, the, in this video in the next question we deal the multiple pole question also or multiple uh, I mean for the multiple pole we will have the another uh, formula but yes in this question just start this question. So here you can see I am having here the denominator is nothing but 1 plus z is square. So first of all what is the number one step I am using black color to have the step number one. So what will be the number one step? The number one step is nothing but the poles, right? So we need to have the poles here. For pole I am having denominator should be equal to 0. So 1 plus z square is equal to 0. From here you can see z square is equal to minus 1. So z is equal to what? Plus 
minus iota that is i that is the complex that is the imaginary part right here real part is equal to zero so this is nothing but the pure imaginary term so we are having the pole on the imaginary axis or y axis we are having here that's it now number two is the step number two see step number one is nothing but to have the pole so this is number one now the step number two is what the step number two is what for the I am having what I am having the logic how to go for this question or how to apply or how to means the number of steps we are having here. So first of all this is our pole C we are having the pole so this is our step number one now step number two is nothing but the contour or the cur curve so here I am having the closed curve first of all what is Z Z is nothing but a complex number this is X plus I Y minus I by 2 right and mod is equal to 1. So here to evaluate the mod value we should have the real and imaginary part separated right. So here I am having the real part x plus i and what is the imaginary part y minus half and this is nothing but 1. See I am having the step by step procedure. So this is what this is why actually I am explaining it right. So this is time taking process for me to you getting the explanation right. But after the uh, what we can say by after the getting the knowledge related within these things if you are applying your copy then it is really uh, taking most probably uh, 10 to 20 seconds to have the pole and to have the curve or to check the pole inside or on or outside the curve right so let us have the uh, mod so mod is nothing but root over x square plus y square here y is nothing but the imaginary part is nothing but y minus half square is equal to 1. So this is nothing but a circle x square plus y minus half square and 1 square is nothing but 1. So here you can see it is a circle right. It is a circle with the origin. For the circle we need to define the origin and also the radius. So the origin is nothing but 0 comma half and the radius is nothing but 1. So you can have the, uh, the general uh, formula or the general equation of for the circle is what x minus h whole square plus y minus in the 11th class plus y minus k whole square is equal to r square which is the radius and h and k the coordinate of the center. See so here the origin oh my goodness I am writing the origin this is not the correct word to have here this is what center. So for the circle we have two parts center and the radius so I am having here the center and the radius right. So let us have I am drawing here the circle with the red color. So I am having the x and y axis here. So this is my y axis, i y axis and this is our x axis. So we can write here x axis and this is nothing but i y axis. Fine. The first and very important thing 0 comma half is the radius right oh, sorry is the center. So 0 comma half is nothing but here let us suppose I am having here 0. This is nothing but i by 2. Let us suppose here i see this is if this is the i then this is what 3 i by 2 and this is what 2 i fine. So I am having here 0 comma i by 2 or 0 comma 1 by 2 right y's value is 1 by 2 the imaginary part is 1 by 2 fine okay the radius is 1 so if the radius is 1 so this is 1 by 2 and uh, 0 so I am having here minus i by 2 if this is i by 2 right and the radius is 1 so this is what half and half here. So I am having the circle. See, I am not good at drawing, but yes, I am trying to make a circle. So I am having the circle like this. I am having the circle like this. Okay. So this is not the perfect circle, but yes, you can imagine the circle, right? Okay. So I am having the circle. Form the circle first. And this is the point I am having here the point and uh, this is nothing but minus i by 2 fine this is what 0 this is what i by 2 this is what uh, 0 and this is what i and here I am having what 2i or uh, not, not 2i this is what 1.5i that means 3 by 2i so I am having here 3 by 2 and i that is it. Now this is the circle which is uh, looking very bad but yes you can assume as a curve this is the circle right. So I am drawing it again because this is looking such a bad thing right. 
So, I am applying again. So, this is our circle. Let us suppose this is our circle. Okay, now, first of all, this is nothing but the contour, this is nothing but the circle. We are having the closed curve, and for the closed curve, we can apply the Cauchy integral formula. So, first of all, we need to check the residue, right? So, oh sorry, we need to check the pole, right? So, I am having here minus i. So, you can see i and minus i, which is inside. Plus i is the inside pole, right? So, I am having here the pole. This is what plus i and this is you can say inside pole. So, for inside pole, right? And this is what we are having here minus i. So, this is what outside pole, outside pole. So, for inside pole, we can directly apply the Cauchy integral formula. So, I am having here the Cauchy integral formula, up, uh, 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 we are applying here directly. So, I am writing like this C Fz. So, Fz, we are having the two parts of Fz. C 1 upon z square plus 1 or 1 upon z square, uh, uh, 1 plus z square, I am writing here, I am writing here z minus i. Fine. And in upside, I am having here z plus i. Look like this. Uh, this is the closed curve. See, z minus i and z plus i is nothing but z square minus i square, i square is minus 1. So, this is nothing but we can write it. We can just arrange it according to, according to the Cauchy integral formula. You can see here I am having the fz. Perfect. And here you can see we are having the z minus a. Right. I just have written this in the form of this. We can write it like this. Okay, no problem at all. Now, let us have directly apply 2 pi i into f of a. So, this is what fz and here you can see a is nothing but i. So, I am writing here i 1 upon z in z in place of z. We should write a. So, a is nothing but i. Yes, you can see z minus i, z minus a. So, a is nothing but i. So, I am writing here i and this is plus i. So, this is what 2i, 2i cancel out and the answer is what? Pi is the answer. So, in option, in option we are having the option b, let me check the option for the question number 4, yeah, it is absolutely correct. Option b, Bombay is the pi which is absolutely correct. So, you can see here with this uh, question, I just have explained it. First of all, you just need to think about the poles, right? Second, you just need to think about the curve. And the third, we have this, the third number, the step number third is nothing but the Cauchy integral formula. So, the step number one here, the step number two here, just check inside or outside the pole and then you can apply for inside pole or for on the curve pole, we can apply the Cauchy integral formula. That's it and that's all. Now, let us have the another question which is again related with the same topic, but yes, this for the simple pole, we have the another question with the multiple pole. So, dear students, in global, we are having here the another question which is really important and again, yes, it is from the gate examination, we do not know the year now. This is the question and uh, we have here, we just modi I just modified the question, this as in gate examination to evaluate the residue, we will tell you about the residue and again here. In this question, we are having the integral C, which is a closed integral. Here you can see the sign of the closed integral. So, we have the steps now. We can directly apply the steps. The step number one is the poles, right? So, for a step number one, I am applying here the poles. So, for pole, we are having the denominator is equal to 0. And what is the denominator is nothing but z plus 2 is a square and uh, into z minus 1, right? and which is equal to 0. So, here you can see z is equal to minus 2 comma minus 2 and here z is equal to what we can say 1. So, if it is a distinct pole, then you can say it is a simple pole, right? So, 1 is a simple pole, there is no problem, right? 1 is a simple pole. But if you are having the same pole, so this is nothing but the multiple pole, multiple poles. So, this is nothing but the multiple poles, simple pole and the multiple pole, z is equal to minus 2 minus 2 and z is equal to 1, fine. Now, the second step is what to evaluate the closed curve and here you can see I am having what in, in directly in the direct form we are having what z is equal to x plus i y. So, x plus 1 plus i y, you are getting my point, I am saying x plus 1 plus i y. So, here you can see it is the circle, right, I am having what x plus 1 
whole square plus y square it is equal to 1. Again it is a unit circle with a radius 1 but yes here the center is nothing but I am having the center. So you can see the center is nothing but minus 1 comma 0 and the radius is nothing but 1. So let us draw the circle and then we can see which pole is inside or on the closed curve C, right. So let us have the closed curve, I am having the circle here, I am drawing it directly, you can draw with me directly, it is I x axis and this is nothing but the imaginary axis, this is nothing but the origin, I am having one minus 1 comma 0, right, so minus 1 comma 0 is here, right, so this is nothing but 0, so from uh, here you can say it is minus 1, so this is nothing but minus 2, right. Here you can see 1, here you can see 2. So the radius is uh, radius is 1, right? So if I am having the center, I am drawing with the blue color. If the center is minus 1, then you can see the radius is what? 1. So from the circle is passes from minus 2 and 1. Fine. Is it so? No, no. The circle is passes from minus 2 and 0 because the radius is 1. So it is passes through the origin. Fine. Okay. So this is nothing but our circle which is passes through the origin, which is passes through the origin and also minus 2, fine. So origin should satisfy this circle, that means 0, 0 point satisfy, let us uh, put here uh, 0 and 0, so you can see 0 and 0, 1 is square, 1 is square cancel out, so 1 is equal to 1, so it is passes through the origin. Now this is our closed curve C, fine. So, I am having the closed curve C. So, now what is the poles? What are the poles basically? Minus 2, minus 2 and 1. So, I am uh, crossing with the black. I am having here minus, I am having here plus 1. So, this is nothing but our outside pole which is not really important for us for the integral. Now, we are having here minus 2, okay. So, minus 2 is nothing but our on the curve. This is nothing but on the curve. So if it is on the curve, then we can use the integral for minus 2, right? So the number third, number first step is the pole, number second step is the circle, number third step we have the pole inside or on the circle or outside the circle. Now, at the number third point, we directly apply the Cauchy integral formula, I am writing here with the blue color, Cauchy integral, integral formula, but yes, the Cauchy is integral formula for I am saying for what? This is nothing but this is for what? This is for multiple pole. This is for multiple poles. So for multiple poles, I am having here the Cauchy integral formula which is nothing but I am writing the formula like this with the black color C uh, Fz divided by the multiple pole style it is nothing but Z minus A whole power N because we do not know the number of poles. So I am having a generalizing form n, so this is nothing but 2 pi i divided by n minus 1 factorial, we have the different formula, differentiation n minus 1 times of fz and at last you can put z is equal to a. So because at that time we in the, uh, in the simple pole, we are having 2 pi i into fa, so that is why we are having here fa. So by having the differentiation, we should reduce the, what we can say the multiplicity and at last we should have the value at a, so I am putting z is equal to a, fine. Now let us apply, let us see here, here you can see this is the function, right, this is the function, but yes, here in this style we are only using the multiple pole. So I am only using the multiple pole, this minus 2 is inside or on the, right, it is the on the curve. So I am using minus 2, so I am changing the integral with this style. I am changing my integral with this style. So the useful pole, the useful pole is nothing but z plus 2 and whole square and the remaining part we are having as a fz. So our fz is nothing but here I am having the fz. So our fz is nothing but 2z minus 1 divided by z minus 1. So this is nothing but my fz. So we can write the integral. I am rewriting this integral according to my 
according to my poles right according to my poles in the sense what which is the inside or on or which is uh, not the outside see for the outside we do not have we do not worry about the outside pole so i am having here this uh, z minus 1 produces the z is equal to 1 which is the outside pole so do not think about the outside pole so i am having here only z plus 2 whole square which is the z is equal to minus 2 minus 2 which gives the on the curve the pole are on the curve right so we are having the multiple pole here so directly apply 2 pi i n minus 1 so here you can compare n is equal to here 2 and also a is equal to minus 2 fine and this is nothing but our fz this is nothing but our fz see z minus a so z minus a square so n is equal to 2 and z is equal a is equal to minus 2 fine n minus 1 so 1 factorial d by dz n minus 1 that means one time differentiation now fz so what is the fz i am having the fz here numerator 2z minus 1 divided by z minus 1 at last we should write z is equal to minus 2 is it okay absolutely fine now 2 pi i we should we should solve this the differentiation term so the differentiation the dividing rule i mean the division rule is really important to know here you can see z minus a so z minus uh, 1 square the denominator is square the denominator the differentiation of numerator minus the numerator right so i'm writing here the numerator numerator is what 2z minus 1 and into the denominators differentiation is 1 at last you are having here z is equal to minus 2 fine let us check again the denominator here the denominator is square the denominator the numerator differentiation minus the numerator and the denominators differentiation so we have done with the differentiation part so let us have uh, the value we just need to put the value here z is equal to minus 2 so 2 pi i into by putting z is equal to minus 2 so this is minus 2 minus 1 minus 3 so minus 3 to the minus 6 minus minus 2 here so minus 4 see minus 4 minus 1 minus 5 and this is minus minus plus 5 divided by minus 2 here so minus 2 minus 1 minus 2 minus 1 minus 3 square there's nothing but 9 so you can see this is what minus 1 so i am writing here minus 2 pi i divided by 9 which is our answer according to me right so minus 2 pi i are divided by 9 you can check it and if there is a problem you can comment because it is a basic kind of uh, mistakes of the calculation part so yes it can be but yes according to me minus 2 pi i divided by 9 which is the correct answer so my dear students in this video we have done with the cauchy's integral formula with the simple and multiple poles also in the next video we'll have the another concept we have the another concept related with the what we can say the another different approach with the engineering mathematics of gate examination but yes it is really important for the electronics electrical and also mechanical uh, instrumentation branch and also for the chemical branch but yes for the civil branch the complex integral part in gate uh, till gate 2020 the complex integral part is not involved in gate uh, our civil branch examination so this is not useful for the civil branch mentioning it uh, two or three times i'm mentioning it this is not important for the civil branch because complex variables are not in the branch of the civil and not in this syllabus right but yes i'm 101 percent damn sure in electrical electronic and, and mechanical this is definitely will come in your gate 2020 thank you